Hello and welcome to my Horizon Zero Dawn game review. My name is Hitomi Wales. Some of you might know me as Sabrina. I am a keen blogger, reviewer and a gamer. And I first came across Horizon Zero Dawn around 18 months ago. A good friend of mine recommended it. She said it was going to be right up my street because she knew that I loved playing games with intense storylines. The thing that I want most when I play a game is detail, and that's in both the game content and the graphics. So the week that Horizon came out, I wanted to avoid all other people's reviews so that I didn't get any spoilers. I've wanted to play the game without knowing anything about it. I wanted to be surprised, amazed and entertained and do you know what? Horizon was even better than I could have ever imagined. So as Aloy is jumping up and down on a dead machine, here is my Horizon review. The majority of pro gamers completed this storyline within 40 to 50 hours. I have managed to complete the entire game in 80 hours. That includes all of the PlayStation 4 trophies. I am a very thorough gamer. It has taken me a couple of months to finish this and that's mainly because I only play when I'm not at work. I have enjoyed so many aspects of this game and writing this review has been pretty easy because I've absolutely loved playing it. I'm actually quite sad now that I've finished it, but I've also heard that there's a DLC coming out which I am extremely excited about. I cannot wait for that. Hopefully we won't have to wait too long. So let me tell you in detail a little bit more about the game while I continue showing you some gameplay. All of this video is me playing Horizon on my PlayStation 4. I have very little criticism and as for the content I was thoroughly impressed. Most of you say that you won't figure out all of Horizon's storyline plot but I've got 90% of it right just from the storyline's epic cutscenes and all of the information that you must piece together. There's quite a lot to collect in this game and as you can see right now Aloy is using her focus which she collects as a child to look for information and data points and things like that within the world so that she can find out all the answers to all of her questions. I've also adored playing as Aloy. I think she's a fantastic character. Running around the world with my bow and arrows and other weapons as you accumulate them. Every concept of a far distant version of Earth doesn't seem to come close to the level of detail and deep imagination that has gone into the backbone of this game. I am truly happy that I bought and played Horizon and I will say that I hope there will one day be a sequel because I know this game took several years to complete but the wait was definitely worth it. Now I promise there are no spoilers but I will continue to show you my gameplay as I give my opinion on why I believe this game is a 10 out of 10. From the moment that you start this game, you are shown some mind-blowing graphics. Once Aloy is grown up and you venture further into the map, every new section brings more excitement. The level of detail between the picture and the sound is also incredible. For example, you can hear her breathing, you can hear her footsteps, you have various weather conditions, all of which she reacts to. The lighting for the time of day and in various cases you will have her react to things that are going on around her even if you're not responding to them with the controller.
Another message from the ancient past. There are many hours of complex gameplay in Horizon Zero Dawn, a superb options section that is easy to navigate and although there are many resources in the game, an inventory that is understandable and full of purpose, everything in the game is necessary at some point. Although Aloy is rather a self-sufficient character, I do love how she's the one who is helping and saving others. Girl power at its absolute best. A heroine who, beyond all accounts, is both strong-willed but relatable. Horizon is voiced by several excellent actors, most of who I've heard in other similar games. But I don't always know their names. They make the story so much more believable, along with the amazing facial graphics that will blow your mind with their lifelike expressions. Another thing that I've loved was the choices within Aloy's conversations. You feel more part of the game and its decision making. The wonder, suspense and jaw-dropping moments of Horizon Zero Dawn will sustain your curiosity right until the end. And if you're anything like me, you'll love playing to its full potential so you can get everything possible from the game. I don't want to give too much away, but I will say this. The storyline has many twists and although it gives you hints, Unless you're reading and listening to absolutely everything that happens to Aloy, then parts of it will leave you amazed and surprised. So here I am in the gameplay, I've just overridden a machine so I can use it for my own purposes. It will take you an awful long time to walk the map unless you are using the fast travel and various machines to ride on. It's very fun though, isn't it? So here's a close-up of my charger, one of the many machines that I overrode during my time playing. And I'll explain the screen a little bit more for you. You have your weapons inventory and ammo on the bottom right. You have your potions and traps and various other things from the inventory on the left. You have your health bar top left and your quest line just below that. The central section is your map, your compass orientated map and as you can see as I scroll through there various cities and uh, campsites and things will light up. And then on the top right you have your level. This was quite late on, I'm level 35 at this stage and the maximum rank is level 50 which you'll get just through progressing through the game. So here's a little bit more of an action gameplay for you. I'm about to uh, scale a tall neck which is one of the machines you have to override as part of the storyline but there are also various uh, thugs I'd call them. Uh, sitting around here and as you can see by all the little yellow exclamation marks they're all very much aware that I'm there but I've managed to climb on top of a structure and stay away from them. There is quite a bit of fighting in Horizon. It's not a game that I would recommend for very young people. There are quite a few issues, adult issues that right. will arise no, I'll and just have to reach I think it's just one of those games um, that adults uh, will really enjoy because of the depth and the knowledge base of it. Another thing that I love is the soundtrack to Horizon. I'm definitely the girl who buys the movie scores and the game soundtracks and I think music can really make something a bit more real uh, and connect you on a deeper level especially when the music is as thrilling and as beautiful as it is for this game. As you play it I'm sure you'll hear it if not keep a listen out during my gameplay and you might hear some tracks as we go along. And there we have it I have overridden the time. Like I say, the uh, graphics are pretty incredible throughout all of them.
Hello. So let me tell you in a little bit more detail about the various machines. There are loads and you'll notice that they represent animals a lot of the time. That will all become clear, the reason why all of that will be revealed as you play the game. I'm really trying not to give too much away for you because if you haven't played it I just sort of want you to, to go and do it. I don't want to give you too much information but at the same time I want you to see like in this clip here the imagination and the detail that's gone into uh, making this game and the detail of the knowledge that's gone into it it's literally like someone thought let's pretend that this is what's going to happen and what would it be like if this is what happened to our world and it's quite a scary prospect but at the same time it's a game and we have to take it as that but it's just incredible the amount of resources that have gone into making this so believable and I think the characters help with that like I was saying earlier with the facial expressions the detail of everything is incredible there's nothing that they have spent less time on I feel like overall everything is matched the graphics the soundtrack the actors the storyline itself everything is just incredible As you can see by my gameplay there, Aloy is not to be messed with, she's pretty badass and once you get some of the better weapons as you progress through the game you'll find it a lot easier to take down machines and various things. 
foraging is something that is incredibly important i can't stress enough how you must fill your inventory at every possible opportunity usually down by rivers such as this you'll find a great deal of the medicinal herbs that aloy will need for when she gets into any battles or any scrapes and with the focus everything highlights in a bluey purple color so it's quite easy to see what you're after you'll need to upgrade various things and you'll need uh, animal skins animal bones that kind of thing and eventually you'll get the hang of the bow and arrow as i've done it's it's very fun i i will admit that i do quite enjoy just running around and killing everything and shooting everything and collecting everything and then you can go to merchants and various other things and sell and trade other options are that you will upgrade uh, inventory so that you'll have more space things like that it's all very realistic as you would do say uh, you know when you need more materials I can use this. And finally, I'd like to talk to you about the storyline. It has its main quests, of course, but it has side missions and errands and all these other things that Aloy can choose whether or not she wants to help people. I recommend that you do them all. And then there are the trials. That's a good one. Timing Various hunting lodges road. throughout the map and they obviously get more difficult the further away from the Nora lands that you get that's her starting point and this is one of the earlier trials this is log pile trial and i will just briefly give you uh, an example of the trial so that even though i am sort of showing you how to do it on this one it is an easy one anyway and i'm not spoiling it too much for you So here we are on the map and if I just zoom out you will see the extent of the map. I hadn't been playing for very long. As you can see here I have a lot of cloud covering the majority of the map at this point because I haven't ventured very far. There are various places for you to go such as camps and hunting trials and villages and towns and all the machines that you come into contact with they'll also come up on the map and i really enjoyed the detail of that i found it very useful and when you first start off you think my goodness this is going to take me such a long time to get around the map but like i say once you've lit the campfires you can use fast travel packs and things like that and once you get going it doesn't really take that much longer to get around So this circled area is the hunting trial zone and I'm going to do that for you now so you can see exactly what it entails. You get a reward depending on how quickly you complete the trial and there are PlayStation trophies and you need to do them at the quickest time and then you get the reward. So as you can see it says to start the trial you have to jump down the rope. It's always a good idea to get your focus out at this point before you jump down just to see where the machines are. There are several ropes at each of the trials so you'll be able to uh, work out where you need to go down. And in this particular trial you need to use the log pile traps in order to kill the machines. So very little shooting but you need to be accurate in where you are getting your machines to head in the direction of. That little icon up there is one of the signals from the tall necks. That's just telling me with my focus that it's in a nearby zone. And as you can see in the centre column there we have a timer and on the left 
it will tell me exactly what I need to do to complete the trial. Where is it coming from? So the best thing to do is get yourself into a good position. And as you begin to shoot them, I'll do what the log piles, I mean, not the uh, machines, you'll notice that they will fall down. And if you do complete the trial, it will pop up immediately and tell you that you've done it. They're quite good fun, I will admit. If you're not very good with a bow and arrow, it's a good idea to spend some time in here just practicing. And there'll be various components and things you can see on machines in order to know their weaknesses and their strengths. And it's a good idea to spend some time at each of the hunting trial, really, and get to know your machines and what can take them down. They do get quite difficult. The further along the game you get, they get more hostile. And it's, uh, it's good to be in the know. And of course, pick up everything you can possibly hold from all the machine carcasses. Back to your business. You can use any weapons you like. I particularly like bow and arrow. And watch out for explosions, just like that one. <laughs> And then generally forage the area before you move on. I think that's my biggest tip for you really, just to make sure that your health and your inventory is always full before you move on to the next quest. So I'm going to leave you with a few more minutes of gameplay now. I really hope that you've enjoyed this review and I will be talking more about it on my blog and I will put the link for that uh, down in the description box below. I have loved this game and overall like I say I give it a 10 out of 10. I can't wait for the DLC and hopefully a sequel. I couldn't imagine just one game with Aloy. I would love to see how she gets on now that she has some of the answers to her questions and I'm really looking forward to uh, to finding out more about uh, about Earth after Horizon Zero Dawn. Thank you very much for watching my video today, and I hope that you will check out the rest of my reviews as they come up on my YouTube channel. Shot for this one.
I'll tuck that away. I have three sons. Now they'll let me inside the Hunter's Lodge. Well, let's see how that turns out. These are helpful. Better, though. Thank you very much for watching this video review. I am Hitomi Wales and this has been my Horizon Zero Dawn review.